Hey everyone, it is me, TNT, and I'm back with another video on the Tazcraft server. It is episode 8, and today I am very excited to start this video off with the Ravenger launcher. I do not have the tunnel set up yet. I really have not worked on that at all. But uh, what was happening before is the server would not allow this to work um, due to Spigot just like stopping me from, you know, going incredibly fast, like hyper speed, because they think that's hacking, which. I mean, they have a good reason to think that's hacking, but in this case, we're doing it somewhat legitly, so I had to disable that and whatnot. If you're on the Taskcraft server, don't cheat. I will find you. I will take you down. Um, but yeah, now now we can do this, which is amazing. So we need to get started on this tunnel, but today I'm actually going to start off uh, by heading over to... I actually have to figure out where I'm headed over to. Kermit slash Pogger slash whatever has started a farm on the, uh, the Taskcraft server. It is a wither farm. And I really want to have access to it, so I'm gonna help him out by placing a lot of slabs. So I have four shulker boxes, I have plenty more. Um, this is just all the sandstone from my base, because we have so much sandstone at our base, so like, oh my gosh. Uh, so yeah, I need to go find out where to start placing this, and then we're gonna place it for like literally an hour. I got this much done. I'm pretty happy, actually. It looks surprisingly cool. Um, but yeah, that's not why we're doing it. We're doing it so that we can get max efficiency out of this farm um, But yeah, it's, it's looking good so far. I do have to take down all these trees, which will be an absolute pain um, But I should get off for as of right now I'll be on a little bit later, but whether I'll be working on this. I don't know exactly yet uh, But yeah, there's there's a lot that has been done over here, but we still have a lot more to go um, And there's a lot of little caves and whatnot up there that we have to take care of uh, there's it's a, it's a really really large project, but I'm getting free access to this farm and also I may be getting paid I told him I don't really want to get paid um, And then I realized that the entrance fee is 10 diamonds, which I would prefer Just pay instead of doing all this, but hey, I'm helping someone out and that's what matters um, But yeah, there we go And now we have another two shulkers filled up with sandstone slabs So we're just gonna go deliver that really fast uh, to Kermit who's actually currently online I think they're going to gather some materials themselves and get working. Um, but yeah, I'm happy with how it's coming along. Also, I thought I should just mention our spawn real quick. Um, Zix came up with a design and we all really liked it, so we're starting to actually put it into the nether itself. Um, and yeah, I thought that I should just mention it really fast. But anyways, now we're just working on this tunnel. Um, and it's going to take a while. This is probably going to be multiple episodes that we're working on this. I have about two hours to work on it today. Uh, and then we'll see what happens tomorrow. Uh, tomorrow I actually kind of want to work on my base and work on kind of filling it in. Today's just kind of, this episode's kind of just going to be an all about good, like, getting stuff done episode, I think. Uh, I have a lot of time that I'm going to devote to it, so I'm excited to see exactly what comes out of uh, this episode. But yeah, this is what we're up to right now, and I will keep you guys posted on how it goes. Um, currently, if we go try it out, I'll let you guys see what it looks like. So just so you guys know, you guys get his attention. So he looks at you, and then you can kind of come up here. We'll take some damage sometimes if you're not careful, but... Yep, and then we literally instantly get launched here. Um, but this thing can go way farther, way faster. It, it's gonna be amazing. <laughs> so here's a fun fact. I was trying to do a tunnel last episode, so that I kind of just went through that, and I wouldn't have to go left or right at all. Uh, turns out that if you just literally set up a wall instead of a tunnel, you're good to go. Which, I don't know why I, why I didn't think about that. Um, so that's, that might be something that we do. Um, but not guaranteed yet. I don't know exactly the plan. What we might do is do two Ravenger launchers. So one going in one direction, then the other going in the other direction. Um, we'll figure that out as the time comes. But I think we'll actually do a wall and make it look nice from now on. Ooh, here we go, ancient debris. I'm so happy. Oh, I can't even pick up. There we go, ancient debris. All right, so now I can get one more piece of netherite, which is great. I will probably put on my pickaxe because both my pickaxes, yeah, they break pretty fast. There we go, netherite pickaxe. We are doing good. Let's go, more netherite, and it's at least a two vein. I'm. Oh, there's a three. It's a three vein. I am so stoked right now. I'm so happy. If this is a four vein, I will like full on ball. Yeah. All right. I don't have to cry. That's good. I was really scared for a hot second that I'd have to like start crying so that you guys don't like call me out in the comments being like, "Hey, you never cried after you found that fourth piece of netherite." Um, but hey, we got three pieces of netherite, so we can't do anything with it yet. But at least we have it. Okay. But seriously, look how satisfying this is. We are about a little bit more than 300 blocks away from the Ravenger. 
So if we just fly this tunnel so you guys get an idea about how actually long it is. Uh, and then we take out our little shield that I got in Breaking 3 on. Here we go, here we go, here we go, and... I don't even know how I actually stopped, but yeah, we basically made it there instantly. I don't- that's not good that I stopped though. I have to check that. It was just server saying stuff, it thought I was cheating again, you know how it is. Uh, so I changed it around, and we should be good, and we shouldn't stop now. Um, but we still did! <laughs> I've- I never launched OBS, um, so I didn't record whatever I said. Uh, but yeah, basically the tunnel's done, uh, which is crazy. You still have that way to go, because, you know, I'll just go straight. We might get another Ravenger for that, but we'll at least need one so that we can go backwards, because, you know, we can't just go forward. Um, and there's still quite a bit to be done, you know, we should have to take out this roof once we add another one. Um, but that's not a big deal, because, you know, it went down, and then we have to take down this staircase, which also isn't a huge deal. Um, and we're just gonna not mind those pillars over there, I'll explain those a little bit later. Um, there's one more coming up. There it is. I'm just trying to make conversation to show you guys how long this tunnel actually is. It's about 600 blocks. Yo, you wanna see something cool? Sure. But if we come over here to this guy, he'll, you know, do the little thing. And then, there we go. Oh my god. Six, 600 blocks traveled instantly. Oh my god. Look how, look how, look how long it takes for me to fly with rockets. Pretty cool, right? Bro, what? <laughs> So what I, why I have those pillars there is because if we go in here and we oh, and instead of putting ourselves towards this trapdoor, put ourselves towards the other trapdoor, then we'll actually be launched. Oh come on, I hate it when this happens. There we go. So we'll actually be launched to the pillar. So what we can do is we can set up different little places because I know some other people also use um, portals that are in this direction. So we can basically just set up a uh, pillar for them so that they can ram themselves into that and I can use the full thing. Um, so I'm pretty happy with how this turned out actually. But once again we still have to get out the other Ravenger and then we have to take out a little bit more because we have that staircase and whatnot but we can't have that if we're going both directions. Um, so yeah there's still quite a bit of stuff that we have to get done. We also have to do the tunnel going that way. I don't know if I'm adding another Ravenger. That might be a bit much. Um, but yeah, at least we had, we can get the 600 blocks basically instantly now. So it turns out we still have another 500 blocks to go in this direction to get to this portal, which is our the portal to our base. Um, so I think as of right now, I'm just going to make that ice. You know, it'll be fast. It'll be nice. Um, but maybe in the future, you know, if it really starts getting tedious and annoying, we'll just add another one. Um, it's, once, now that we have the tunnel, it's not actually that hard, especially if we get villagers over here. Um, but as of right now, I don't really feel like it. Uh, so yeah, that's where we're gonna go leave it for now. But next episode, we should probably have a second one set up. Um, so I'm gonna go work on placing a lot of those slabs again. This episode's just gonna be filled with me placing things and breaking things. That's it. I'm literally just placing slabs, I'm breaking netherite, and then I'm gonna go and place some sandstone to flatten out my base, hopefully if I have time. But that's it. That's all this episode's gonna be. Think about how you're spending your life on this YouTube channel. So it is quite a few days later. Honestly, I've been mostly coding since I've been gone, since I've taken, taken a break from Minecraft. Uh, I've gone into coding again. It, anyways, it's, it's not important. Um, what I really wanted to talk to you, what, what I'm what I'm doing right now is basically saying um, Zix is holding a building contest, which you know Zix. You know how many diamonds he has. It's definitely worth doing this build battle. Um, so yeah, basically it's a team build battle though, which is fun. I don't think I've actually ever done one of these. I know, I just had a video like five weeks ago. I get that, but all, that that was not a team build battle. I don't think I've actually done an official team build battle um, on especially an SMP, which I was very excited about. Um, so we actually have not started it yet. We have our theme, which is, I even forget how to pronounce it, um, Rakdos, Rakdos, that's that's the theme, Rakdos for us. So each, each team has their own different theme. If you guys don't know what Rakdos is, you're valid. I didn't either. It's from a nerdy card game. I'm not gonna... I'm not gonna judge Zix, he's valid, I'm also somewhat a nerd. Um, and basically, here are some pictures that Zix gave us, and you guys can see that, you know, it's kind of 
it's a more gory sort of thing, which is something I'm not used to, but that's kind of what Zix was up to. He he gave like the cutest team, which is like me, Sabrina, and the Hatter. We're all in the team, by the way. He gave us like the most gory, like the most, you know, kind of gross, not our vibe kind of kind of style, which I respect him for doing, honestly. Um, and every team, you know, has their own theme. Here are some of the other ones. They're all from the same card, nerdy card game, but you know, once again, valid. Um, but yeah, the point is that, yeah, that's the thing now. And we have a month to work on it, so plenty of time. So I launched up the Super Flat World. I'm obviously in creative. Um, and we're gonna experiment. So the point is that we're building towers with this theme around it. Um, and we're gonna probably... We haven't discussed much as a team, exactly. Um, we know that we're definitely going for, obviously, creepy we look. We don't want to, you know, copy the pictures by any means. Um, but typically red is, you know, fire. Um, the... <laughs> Red is like, you know, fire. <laughs> Red is like, you know, fire. Yes, correct. Um, but the theme breaks off into three different sh sections, as Zix said it. So it's like, um, war, destruction, and, um... Oh my god, these are really heavy. Yeah. War, destruction, and... Death. Death, <laughs> yes. Really? <laughs> I was just spitballing. It's, I feel like it's pretty obvious, though. Yeah, I mean, it was like the next logical... Yeah, like it makes sense. So definitely not any of our vibes by any means, so that's exactly why we got it. <laughs> but I think that would be fun to try, you know, a different style, see what we can come up with. Um, so that's why I have this world. And I think we will probably just do a quick time lapse of like what I come up with. Um, it's not going to be like a full tire tower, obviously. It's just going to be like a little tiny thing, not to scale or anything, just getting ideas in this world. Um, but yeah, let's start that. So, fun fact, I didn't even actually get to making the tower, I only got to going underneath the ground, because my plan was to basically go underneath the ground and then from there shoot up into the tower, because, you know, um, this theme is kind of, like, you know, hellish and, like, you know, not great, like, kind of evil, um, so I thought that it'd be nice to, you know, kind of have that feel going underground instead of going upwards. Um, but you know, we do have to make it a tower, and I don't want to make an upside down tower where it goes under, that's just weird. Um, so yeah, I just, I started on this, and then I realized that it took so, so long, and I didn't even know if our team was going to be like, yeah, let's use that. Um, but yeah, there's a few unfinished parts, but I got the general idea. Uh, personally, I really like what I came up with, what I did. Um, it's pretty simple, but I think that it's a cool effect. Well, yeah. Um, and then if it shoots up into a tower, then I think that it would look really cool, but this is just the general idea that I have, um, and yeah, if we could take like a little look really fast about of what the finished product looks. It's not much, but it's something. I think it's cool, and I like it. Um, we'll see if we actually end up using something like this. So after a full two hours, well, about an hour and a half actually, I believe, of work, this is all we have. We don't even have a tower. And I'm doing this with world edit. <laughs> now I get that we have three people on our team, but still in survival, getting all of this and actually building it will be an absolute pain. But I really, really like how this looks. So here, let me take off my effect, my night vision. There we go. So that's what it looks like. Actually, we'll probably have some more lanterns, you know, like sprinkled around on the flooring, especially like, eh. I don't know, something like that. We'll, we'll make it look nice. Um, but yeah, we have no tower, and that's, that's like the whole thing that we need. But I mean, hey, for a pit, it's not that bad. I think I really like it. I, I want to do something like this, but of course, you know, I still have to run this by Sabrina and the Hatter, um, and see what they think about it. And then we actually have to start on a tower. So for the tower, I'm thinking like an 11 by 11 or 22 by 22 just thing going straight up into the air. Um, that of course has like a lot of holes and moss and ivy growing on it because you know I it, it this thing's supposed to be like gone through wars, you know served as a place for people to like, you know live and gear up and whatnot. I don't know um, And I'm guessing that you know, it's been you know bombarded and cannoned and whatnot um, So yeah, just like a lot of holes a lot of cobwebs probably and just like this big structure, probably mostly red and black and, you know, this, these colors um, and stuff like that. And then for the inside, you know, um, I have a few ideas, but we'll go into that hopefully later. I'm going to call it there, though, and I'll see what I can get done tomorrow. 
So in this video though, I've been just placing and then destroying and then placing more blocks, which is Minecraft as a whole, but like it's it's kind of annoying when you're literally just not really doing anything pretty or anything like that. Um, so I thought that I'd do a little bit of redstone stuff. So in 1.16.2, which the Taskcraft server has updated to today, um, you can do things like this where you have a, basically just a water elevator and then an ender pearl just sitting there. Now this ender pearl is actually hooked up to me, so if we if we go over here and then we power this piston, I'll actually be teleported here once this hits proper ground. Um, and that's interesting. So what I'm doing right now is I'm basically just setting up a little chamber where if someone throws a diamond in, then it will launch this and then I will be summoned and then I can help them with their needs if they have any. Um, kind of stupid, but I think it'll be funny and hey, it might make me like three diamonds. Uh, so basically what I'm doing right now is I'm just making a little place so you're gonna just throw an item here and that's gonna go through item sorter and then if it's actually a diamond then it's gonna go and launch that piston. So it's really not that complicated at all, uh, but I think it'll be fun. <laughs> So here's the thing though guys, um, basically a lot of people have been, you know, um, moving on with their lives and just haven't had time for Tazcraft and have decided to leave, which is fine, you know, it's nothing new. Um, but recently everyone who has left, such as the uh, Crazy Pig Carrots and the Hackster, two people that were on the server for a long, long time, um, they had a lot of valuables, like a lot of diamonds and whatnot. So what I'm doing is I'm actually going to take those. And then we're just going to start making a diamond pile. Now this diamond pile is going to be used for anyone new that joins. They'll be getting a diamond block every single time that they join, or, or every time someone new joins. They'll get a diamond block from the pile, and actually what we're planning to do with this at the end of the season, or not the end, probably like around the middle, is we're just gonna, we're just gonna do a little contest, and whoever wins gets the diamond pile. Um, so we have a really small stack right now. But this is all Crazy Pig Carrots diamonds. This is not even the Hacksters. So hopefully this will grow as time goes on. Um, I mean, honestly, hopefully it doesn't. I, I do like it when people stay on the server, but I just thought that I should point out that that's what we're doing with people who leave the server. We're just gonna bring their diamonds and put it on the diamond throne. So a fun fact, my villager mending slash uh, efficiency five guy died because um, Kermit took them out, didn't realize that I was like an important villager, and then converted them into a zombie. Um, which is depressing, they despawned. Uh, but yeah, this shop was meant for that, and now it serves no purpose, and it has literally, this thing has just been pranked to death. So I think it's time it comes down. So taking that huge thing down actually did not take that much time, um, but I thought that I would just show you guys really fast um, our little our little contraption over here. It works pretty well. We got everything working. So basically someone walks along, throw a di throws a diamond here, and well bam, I get teleported. So now all we have to do to reset it is just to throw an ender pearl in there, press this button, and we're good to go. And it spawned an endermite. That's delightful. But sadly guys, that's all I have time for today. This episode actually took like a month of recording because it I there's just so many blocks I had to place constantly everywhere. Um but yeah, we have the diamond pile. It's growing a lot, considering that we started it this step this episode. Um, Hackster had like three stacks of diamond blocks to his name. Uh so yeah, that's cool. Uh, we should be opening up the Ascraft applications again soon and whatnot. Um, but I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. It was fun to make. Um, and I hope to see you guys all in the next one really fast before I go check out Sticky Piston! Yeah! Sticky Piston is a Minecraft server hosting company that offers amazing and powerful servers for a great price. Sticky Piston also has many different types of servers to choose from such as vanilla, modded Minecraft, minigame maps, and more. They also have a great and easy way to control your server so you don't have to go through all these different web pages and whatnot. Um, it's also great for be beginners like myself at making your own server, um, and if you do get confused with anything, uh, their customer support is great and they can help you with almost any problem that you could have. Uh, so there's a link in the description if you want to go check them out, and I highly suggest you should because 
I'm not, uh, they're not sponsoring me because, like, they're like, oh, I want to sponsor you. No, I actually want them to sponsor me because I think, I believe, I really love their product and I think that they're doing a great job with it. Um, so yeah, definitely go check them out. 